there's so many different things when you're trying to get pregnant, being pregnant, and being a parent. It's really hard to sort through all the information and figure out what is fact and what is fiction. Sometimes we hear things so often that we just take them as fact, and the truth is, they're not true at all. Other things do have a grain of truth in them, but the information has become so mixed up and convoluted, you're not really sure which part of the message is true and which isn't. So I'm here to help set straight some of these misconceptions. I get a question a lot about sushi, about whether sushi is safe during pregnancy. And this is one of those things I wanted to break down. Because normally you just hear a blanket statement of no, you can't eat sushi during pregnancy. But I think it's important to learn what is the real truth, what you can eat and how you can eat it. Avoid fish with high levels of mercury. For example, shark, swordfish, mackerel, and tuna. You can consume fish while you're pregnant as long as it's low mercury content fish, like salmon and shrimp. When you're consuming the low mercury content fish, consuming two six ounce servings a week is considered safe. I don't know about you, but I always hear these recommendations, like two six ounce servings, and I get all excited that I know what I'm doing, and then I actually get to the sushi restaurant and I have no idea how much six ounces is. How much is six ounces? Now, the reason why you don't want to consume raw fish or raw meat for that matter is it might contain harmful bacteria. Some of those are salmonella, taxoplasmosis, and coliform bacteria. These bacteria can be incredibly harmful to both you and your unborn baby. And believe me, you do not want to run the risk, however small it may be, of getting any of these things. So while you won't be able to enjoy your normal raw sashimi, you can still get the sushi feel, providing you stick to cooked fish in the sushi and fish with low levels of mercury in them. Follow me at Rosie Pope for more useful information or go to rosiepope.com and if you have ideas for videos you want me to make, just let me know.